it's Liz here. I am coming to you with another Crafty Me Shop unboxing. It's a small one, but if you want to see all of my new goodies, stay tuned because it's coming up next. All right, guys. So um, I just wanted to do another unboxing. So this one is also uh, not as large as my first video. So I just wanted to go over everything. Um, they are some new trims to me, um, bling items, uh, new vintage items, things like that. So, um, let's get started. So, um, first up, I'm actually going to show you some of the fabric pieces. Um, I could not get my eye off of them. So, I am super excited, super excited again that I got these. So, um, first up is this beautiful red, rose, red, <laughs> rose fabric, deep kind of pink, light pink, dark blue flowers. Um, the background, it looks cream on the screen, but in person, it's actually a very light green, very light, like a mint kind of color without the vibrancy, so more toned down, but that'll look good in some great journals I got coming up. All right, so the others are um, some handkerchiefs that are, I do believe, vintage. So I have the white one. It's got the scalloped edges and then it's got the design on it and it's white so if I wanted to do, you know dye it in some way I could um, so I might do that actually I just dyed some um, other trims that I got from her and I actually got like 50 of these trims so there's like a string in the middle that loops it together and you can tie it um, it's like a cinch kind of lace trim but I actually died that last night, so um, I think I'm actually going to do a video on that as well. Um, a lot of people in the junk journal industry uh, tend to color their items with coffee, tea dye, avocado, other things like that, but I also like tinting my stuff um, with the ink tints line, whether that would be using your colored pencil, but I find it easiest with the ink tints blocks since it's permanent after it dries um but super super sim simple to do and dye it and uh it does really good so i'll probably do a video on that for you so all right sorry i was talking during this one the purple and the mint in this is like i couldn't ask for it to be more spot on for the trouble that i'm doing um, this green is also really sweet. They are very, you know, thin. Uh, you can tell that they're definitely antique. So this one has some beautiful colors on it with the edging. This one is like a, a gray stitch, almost like a silver in person. You can see through it, so it is um, very lightweight, soft, and delicate. And the last of the handkerchiefs that I got was this one. I, I don't know exactly what, I guess it's supposed to be a, a flower basket. Yeah, that's, that's more like it. A flower basket. Um, and then the pink stitching actually goes all the way around. So... Glad I got that. I need some vintage items. Um, I think next I'm going to do my uh, velvet colors. So um, I can't remember if I have this color or not. I'd have to actually check my stash. I think I may have this color already, but it's just so fashionable and it does so well in any of your antique inspired junk journals. Um, I mean, this green looks good with almost anything. So I did get me some more uh, length of trim on that. And it is super soft, so. Um, next up is a little bit wider. This one is 
you are looking at, I do believe, uh, half an inch with the out trim, the outside trim. This, so mad I didn't get more. I say that almost <laughs> every unboxing that I do, but it's so hard to sit there and, oh no, um, try to balance your money throughout because you never know what she's going to have coming up. And by the time I get to the end of the sale, I'm like kicking myself in the butt. Like you shouldn't have done that. You should have bought this, but it doesn't matter what I get. It's going to be absolutely, um, stunning. So pretty happy with that. But this deep red velvet, oh, so nice. So that one is a half inch and the other was a quarter. Sorry about that. And here is actually some um, blue, blue, like. Like blue suede shoes, blue. It's almost electric looking. It's very vibrant, soft, and it is the smallest width. So. Uh, you're looking like an eighth of an inch with the outside trim. Just, just a little tad over, so an eighth of an inch of the actual velvet. Um, next up is a repeat item. However, the item that I have um, was the original of this, and she actually took the original lace and then dyed it. So she, I think she used Hocus Pocus. And on this, originally, these flowers were... Um, like a pink color, like a very light pink. Everything else was a natural white, so it kind of just turned it to a darker beige color. Oops. You can't really tell on screen, but it looks, I mean, you can tell that the flowers are actually a different color, and it's this most beautiful light pink going through the whole thing. So I did get a little bit of that. Um, then this. So, um, I didn't have any trim like this. I don't, I don't really do hearts that much, but I'm going to try. I'm going to, I'm going to try to, uh, start utilizing hearts just because it's a whole sweet feminine feature, right? So, um, I just, I did like this and it is pretty wide. I know I'm trying to stick away from the wider trims just because I have quite a bit of it. So I'm trying to do the very delicate dainty stuff, but this was just a unique design that I didn't want to pass up. So on that one, um, hmm. Next up is uh, probably one of my favorite small trims. It is dyed in Hocus Pocus, which is like a light tannish color, more like a light beige. There was a light beige, but oh, so gorgeous. You actually have pearls in here and then the sequence all over. You can't really see it that well. But yeah, so this one, three quarters of an inch. And next up is this beauty. I should have got more of this too. Love it. Absolutely love it. And you could use this so many ways. Like, it's so delicate. I just, ugh. nobody would know if you just cut this out and put it on the edge just because of how delicate feeling it is. Like, you wouldn't know any other way. So, um, and I cannot wait to use this. This is not a bright white. It is more of a natural white. But I'd say this is one of my new faves. And as soon as I seen it, I had to get it. Um, I really wanted to uh, 
have some like art deco kind of designs in here and this literally screams it for real um this design is right up that alley and it is a repeating pattern but you can actually use it in multiple different ways as well so let me flip that around for you And it is a beautiful um, beige cream color, probably more than likely tea dyed, it looks like. Very soft. I'm not sure if this is a, a vintage trim or not, but I actually went back in because I liked it so much and uh, put in the comments, hey, if there's more left, I would love another yard, not just two. So um, I did get that. I do have a few appliques. So one of the appliques I got is actually a French applique. She had a few of these and I just loved the blue in it. And it's satin. It, it feels so awesome. And it's got like a, it's gray, but it has more of like a silvery look to it in person. Not so metallic, but still because it's gray. So, and then these details. See how it's catching the light? That's gonna look beautiful in, in anything that you decide to do with it, so. Uh, she did have some of these in plain where the flowers weren't in blue. I'm not sure if she had them in pink or not, but love the blue. I do, I'm do. i doing a lot of projects right now that actually have blue in them, so uh, hoping to use that. All right. Then I have these bad boys. These, I believe, were also French. One of the first items that she sold last week. This is definitely satin French applique. So it's just like gleaming. It's going to add such a great um, influence on your page. It's just gonna literally make it pop, make it look decadent. <laughs> All right. Then I actually got two of these. And this, whew, let me tell you. I don't know if you can see the color, but I don't have anything in this color. Um, and <laughs> the journal I'm working on right now, it's got this tealish mint color in it. And I'm definitely going to be finding a page for it. And not to mention Prima just released, um, I can actually review some of that too on this video if you're interested. Um, or I'll just do it anyways, <laughs> but since I didn't have as many items this time. Um, but it will look gorgeous. These are rhinestones in the center of the main flowers. Then you have pearls for the center of the smaller flowers. And then matching teal or turquoise, I should say, beads that go for the petals. So those will be fun to use. I got one of these. I do believe. I don't think I got two. Yeah, I only got one, but it is beautiful as well. It is a little bit longer, but it has so much shine and sparkle to it. So pretty. So pretty. It definitely is metallic thread um, for the design and then the organza. You got sequins and silver beading. So beautiful. And of course, you know, I'm probably going to be uh, getting something with pearls in it. So <laughs> this is a beautiful uh, teardrop shape, almost like an eye shape pearl applique. 
So that is pretty large. It is five and a half inches. So beautiful. They aren't bright white pearls. They are like a light cream. So these I was super excited to get. They went very quickly. Now these are super delicate. They are an antique, uh, antique vintage version. And um, unfortunately, when I went back in to see if I could add more, she was sold out. So, um, just another reason to, if you see it and you really like it, get it because you don't know if she's going to get any more, especially if it's vintage items. You have no idea how many yards of it that she has. So just keep that in mind when you're buying, um, or shopping. Super, super thin. This is probably one of the thinnest, um, pieces that I have, including some of my thinner lace. So it's so delicate to the touch but the design on here is amazing and it is going to make a beautiful pocket next up are some of my green items that i got i do not have a whole lot of colored items in my collection so far so um i wanted to get some of these now this is like a shabby spring green it does have some white in there. I just thought it'd be really nice to have some things like this so you could add a, a beautiful pop of color and make it the focus. So there's that one. I think I have, yeah, so two of these. And then I have one of these, which is a smaller one. And it matches. Love it. All right. Um, also in this, she sold a few vintage items as well. And then she also, I know in my last video I mentioned, uh, she actually got a huge haul of items of stamps, um, inks, embossing folders, dies, things like that. And I did get one. Um, it has that Art Deco feel to it. So... I thought it would be beautiful to watercolor it and make um, some cards. And I love this floral wallpaper look to it. And then the little tabs that she can make and the tops. So, yeah. So, that'll be fun to play with. And these are also vintage as well. So, these are French items. And they are legit because I actually, you can smell them and they smell like an attic, like antique. It's that antique smell, if you know what I'm talking about. This is a beige lace with a peach background handkerchief. They just scream French and yeah, super excited because I am going to be doing um, the new Prima line um, junk, junk journal and it has all of these colors in it and I it's just going to scream super shabby French. So this is a little pin pillow or pillow of some sort and then you have your bow. It's got the matching uh, beige lace and then this is so delicate and this it, even the staining on here just gives it you know it's such a great look you know that it's been used and been in other people's lives and you know it's part of a story so I think that's really cool this is the green with the pink on the inside little twilly Another little pillow, cute little flower. This is frayed edges. You have the pink satin on the back. And then lastly for the French set is this beige edge, thin sheer blue. I mean like robin's egg blue almost. Maybe a little brighter. Gorgeous. So 
that's that for all the French items, which I'm probably going to hoard because they're so nice and you're probably never going to find them again. So, um, I will be very particular on what I use them on, but I know I'm at least using a few on the new journal. Um, all right. So next up is my Webster's dictionary. So it has this like plastic outer, outer, uh, book, you know, casing. It's for school and office, but it has all these beautiful aged brown colors in it. And I just think it, I don't have a dictionary that I pull from as of right now. And I've been wanting to get one, you know, so I can start using more uh, book pages in my works. So largest cities of the world and these had such a beautiful antique color to them so super happy about that it was an amazing buy for sure next up are my bling items bling bling and some other miscellaneous items so all right um i did get me some of these little crocheted flowers they got a pearl center and they are two inches wide. So love those. In her big haul, or it could have been a separate one, she actually um, went and got a humongous lot of uh, Betsy Johnson um, jewelry, brooches, things like that, anything in there. So ugh, I'm getting it stuck and it's going to drive me insane. Anyways, so she has a bunch of those still, I do believe. It was a huge lot. And the colors in here are just gleaming. So that's going to be a beautiful ad. And uh, let's do this one. These are some vintage buttons. Oh goodness, if I could get it open. If only I could get it open. All right, so they are not flat backed, which is fine. But they sure do look pretty in the black center. Catches the light too. They're beautiful, so happy about that. Um, here are a few items. There is a brooch. It isn't flat backed. It's probably a pendant, but it is some bling. I am trying to, um, build up my stash of bling like this. So if you guys know anywhere that sells like this in bulk, um, for good pricing, I did get like a bling box from... Esme and it has tons of stuff in it, but I also would like, you know, to have some more variety, see more pieces like this, things like that. So I'm happy with it by all means, but, um, yeah, girl would like to have different options. Don't we all? And these are, let me get this. Let me get these pearls. And then I got these little charm pendants, pearl pendants. They're long. And then another Betsy Johnson brooch. The blue is beautiful. It's just so pretty. Look gorgeous on the front of any journal. Um, these she surprised me with. <laughs> um, so she said the woman who had all of these items in her store, she had buku amounts of ones that were of horses. So these are free. These are an added bonus from Esme that she threw into the bag. And I've already thanked her and super, super thoughtful on her behalf to do that. I'm not affiliated with her in any way. She doesn't pay me anything to do this. I'm not an admin in her group, nothing. So, um, what a great surprise to get, right? <laughs> so, um, and one of my friends loves horses. So 
think I can do something for her with these. So thank you, Esme. Appreciate it. You're awesome. And then here are those long pearl pendants. I got four of them. An inch and a quarter long. And those are going to be great. Let me get all these back in here real quick. And then, let me see. I have a few other things to show you. Give me one moment. Prima line. So besides that, I also had to splurge and get the new um, Distress Ink color, Lost Shadow. I think this is just a beautiful neutral color that they added to the palette. So really glad they did that. Um, we have the paints, the sprays, both oxide and spray stain. And then I wanted to get the crayons as well and the the new colors that I've launched. So I'm not sure if you guys use the crayons, if you guys are aware of the crayons, if you guys are new, you might not know about it, but Stress has all kinds of uh, products that are in the color line that Ranger does for uh, like Tim Holtz. This one is Uncharted Mariner, Saltwater Taffy, and Villainous Potion. So these are beautiful colors and they are gorgeous together. So since I have the rest of them, I needed to get these as well. And then I also have it in set 11. So you have speckled egg, crackling campfire and rustic wilderness. I use a lot of speckled egg, a lot. So it's just like the perfect shabby blue color. So I can't get enough of that. I'm going to show you the papers before I start showing you the ephemera. I love the backings. Don't throw these away. Use them. Use them. All right. Oh, I forgot about that. And that's one of the things about Frank Garcia too. I got these, all these items at Frank Garcia. They offer afterpay, which is a huge deal to me. Girls got to save her money. And um, it's always packaged in this beautiful pink tissue paper. And I do not throw it away. I can always use it in my journals. So keep that. Um, I'll do that in a second. All right. So first up is the six by six and it is gorgeous it has some cutouts in the back in the back of that page beautiful flowers pink fuchsia plum kind of color wallpaper design in the back journaling cards look at the cute little teacup and the birds the roses the back of this is also fuchsia oh nope the fuchsia front my god I'm losing my mind this is tuft hearts with a bit of newspaper in between so it's broken up you can use these as washi uh, an entire page break it up and use parts of it so we'll like that too all right back of that one another wallpaper theme with a light mint green in the background 
and the front of it actually has these beautiful cutouts. Label, some tickets, some trim. <laughs> Gonna be fun to use. This is another wallpaper theme. Looks like a wall paisley like wallpaper. This will go great with the new Tim Holtz background stamps, which I got. So might as well show you. The backing is going to work with this perfectly. It's gonna be so pretty. So yeah, there's the front end designs. It's got a glare, sorry about that. Gorgeous. All right, and then, now the difference between the six by six and then your 12 inch paper pad is the 12 inch is gonna actually have some foiled items foiled pages in it. There is the front of those beautiful roses. Blue and mint page with the flower, wallpaper flower design. The front of that, this is super cute. Love the little scene. They're courting, courting each other, so. All right, let's get to the 12 pack. So it's called Avec um, Amour. With love. Well, it's love, got to, got to. Don't mind my singing. It's late here, so I apologize for getting a little bit slap happy. But all these are going to be beautiful fussy cuts to use. And here is my example. So, like I said, the difference is you're gonna have the same design. Sometimes you could have different designs between a six by six and a 12 by 12. It just kind of depends on the designer and what they feel like doing. Not all of them are going to be different. A lot of the times they might throw one, two, three different pages into the 12 or into the six different, you know, than the other. So just keep that in mind. But the beautiful, it's like a copper, rose, gold kind of. More of a copper. Sorry, the glares confuse me. With the blue on the back. And, hold on, let me get this organized. All right, then we have this design, and then this has got small foil leaves on it. And look at this, you can use the top as washi as well. The back is the pink design. Here's some larger cutouts, like the cutouts that you've seen in the six by six, except now they're larger. The back is the wallpaper with mint and roses, in case you just wanted to use that and not the others. Here is their washi sheet, basically, or, you know, borders, whatever you want to call them, or use them as. Back is the tough tarts. I absolutely love this design. I'm gonna have to look for some digitals that has that like Magneta plum mixture of colors. It's just gorgeous. And journaling cards. Back is that beautiful color. Can't wait. Yay. Same thing, two designs, two pages of each design. Then we got the birds in here. And then the center of the flowers, and then right here is that gold uh, rock, copper foiling. And then also, if you look, they printed it out so it's not perfect. So it really does look as if it's like been on a wall. So this one is a great design, great design, and then 
You see it's skippity bits here? Just skippity. Kind of not as good of an image. And I, I re I'm really glad that they did that. And the bird as well isn't as good as this image right here. So I like that you did that. This is a super, super light mint green for the background. And then we have the back, which is full of cutouts. There's, yeah, full of cutouts. So I'm not the best at fussy cutting, but I will do it. That doesn't bother me. So that will be the uh, focus of my next journal. And let's look at some ephemera, shall we? Try to make this as quick as possible. They do have duplicates of each design. I'm trying to make this super easy. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll see. So some flowers, the birds. We got two ladies here. More beautiful birds with foiled. Cute little teacup. And you see that pink in here? It's just all over. It's like a magnetic, magneta pink. Cute little blue flowers with foil. The bird again. Then we got a note card. All right, some more flowers. You can use these on, you know, your tags, your journaling cards, onto the pages, anything. But I really wanted stuff that would match. So super glad that I, I got them. Cute little bird. Some more flowers, another bird. The neutral flowers. We got some more labels or cards, whatever you want to use them for. Journal space, whatever. Ooh, I really like this design. Ooh, copper foil. Love it. Wish I could just buy that piece over and over again. <laughs> the whole thing, even though I love the whole thing, but still. Beautiful flowers again. So you have some different sizes in here to mix it up. Smaller label or card to write on. Pink one. Yeah, I almost dropped it and I did. All right. The flower design on the page that I'm in love with. More flower clusters and some pink flowers and white flowers. And I'm dropping things everywhere again. And two of these larger white designs foiled on the outside. So this one. Beautiful as well. Two designs of each. Sorry, ladies. I'm trying to keep it as organized as possible, and it's not working. It's like a little crystal gem in the middle. It's pretty. We got butterflies in this one. Roses. All right, this is like a gemstone brooch. That actually is that that goes in there. Or you could just do it separately. One of the butterflies, a small butterfly. Look at that bow. How adorable. 
Here's that bow. So cute. So freaking cute. Yep. All right, flowers with butterflies. Or the gemstones. Here is a photo. Like label, larger flowers. The lady, Marie Antoinette, if you want to say. Yeah, I'm dropping everything. Another gem. Birds. Gorgeous. The ladies, look at this birdhouse. Oh no, it's a fountain. Huh. Like that too. Ooh. All right, look at this banner. That'll be fun to use. And then another label with foiling on it. More flower clusters, butterflies, banner, a French ad on it. Ooh, look at the bird. And a beautiful bird and flower cluster there so those are gorgeous oh no I just ripped it open <laughs> and then next I actually uh, decided to get the uh, tag and ticket package of the camera and super cute for that. <sighs> Look how cute. To and from. Four of each design it looks like. Here's the tuft hearts with foil. And you know, I don't always like to go off of um, paper pad designs, but I do like it because it gives me somewhere to start when it comes to like design elements, breakdown, what do I want it to look at, like, and um, the colors to go off of, everything like that. So it kind of gives me somewhere to start. Pink flowers. Ooh, this is so cute. It's like the wallpaper theme. And it's got that beautiful, like, orchid color in it. So pretty. And then there is one that has all the different layers if you wanted to cut it and turn it into washi. So, there's that. And here are the tickets. They are just repeat designs, so you get three sets of each, so of Beck Amour with love, smile, I can't even read, read that, smile of 10, it's not focusing, hmm, then a gather here, hello cutie, you're my favorite, so lovely, like you. So this will be fun to use. Um, and then I also got some of these. Ah! These are the new Finnabar by Prima molds that she literally just launched. So. As you can see, they are some decked out frames. You got some rosettes and stuff over here. You got a frame that actually has a crown on it. Um, those are separate dies. They fit into e dies, molds, and they fit into each other. Um, this one is called Ornate Frames. 
This one is Clockwork Sparrows. It has the crown on it. I actually have an embossing folder, I do believe, from Spellbinders that almost exactly looks like that. So I will be utilizing that with this. Um, then you got gears, a little mini crown. Some These birds remind me of like the phoenix, like a phoenix design. So yeah, I really, really like that. And then she also has some more. These aren't all the ones that she launched, but keeping my price tag down, I tried to limit myself the most and had to be real with myself. Like, are you really gonna use that a lot? <laughs> or is it gonna sit there for a while before you even use it once? So um, this one is called Mirror Frames. So it is frames, but all with a, a round design. But they are gorgeous as well. This is called Flocking Birds. Small, medium, and large. And lastly is Vintage Light Bulbs. Look great with some steampunk designs. So, love it. So, a lot of the times I can make these resin pieces or, you know, air dry clay pieces and use them on the front of journals. So, um, or even on my mixed media projects. So I do a lot of that also, but right now I'm on a journal kick. So, uh, other than that, I think that's about it ladies. So, um, and gentlemen, um, I hope you liked today's video on my unboxing of some of my Frank Garcia order and, um, also my crafty me order. Oh, almost forgot this. 49 and market and they are probably one of my favorite up-and-coming brands so this is uh called their color swatch line and it's color swatch inkwell i do not have any of their um collage paper it's very thin but it's all in that theme of color so there's tons of pages in here that you can collage with And I think that's going to be a lot of fun. And then I also um, got some of their snippets. Oh, I almost forgot. So this is another one of their color swatch lines. This is Eucalyptus. I love this color as well. Um, it's like a dirty sky blue. Did you get all of these laser cut elements? Sorry for the glare. Laser cut elements in it. So those are fun to use. But the same thing. And sometimes these do change. Like the elements change a little bit. So just kind of depends on the line. Um, and then I also got the like Amora from Prima. Uh, rub-ons. I'm going to get these out because if you guys don't use rub-ons, I highly recommend getting them and playing with them. Now, uh, Tim Holtz with is it Stampers and Rose? No, it's Tim Holtz Ideology. Duh. Um, he does some rub-ons as well. So does Fenibar with Prima and Prima. Rub-ons are so fun to, to play with because um, you can add cute little details after you've done all your work and just add it to it to add it, you know, more um, interest. So can't wait to use these. Use them on your tags, the page. They're just so versatile. And all of them come with that stick so you can actually rub them on there and just make sure that when you're using them that your um, surface is completely dry. Otherwise it won't want to stick. But look at all these, you know, filigree designs. The Marie Antoinette look and the birds. Here's the gemstones and the fountain. The banner. Like, I can see this is probably going to be a super popular um, 
set that they've come out with. So I wouldn't, I actually probably would want to buy another set just so that I know that I have it just because the designs I think are going to be so easy to use and in any of the French inspired junk journals. So that will be fun. But other than that, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so um, stay tuned guys. I have an order in. So I think on my last video is when I actually decided to go for it. Um, I have not had a candy box from Esme yet. So <laughs> this is going to be super fun. So she hasn't sent it out yet. I think she's waiting for everybody to get their orders in. There were, I think, six left when I checked. They do go quickly. If you are hesitant or if you want a mixed bag, I highly, highly recommend getting the candy box because you are not going to be disappointed. So I actually watched a few videos last night before I made the plunge and I actually went through each individual item and kind of estimated on what the pricing would be based off of the items that I have that are quite similar. And you're looking at well, at almost $200 at least um, for each candy box and they are between 75 and $100 depending on the size that she puts together. Um, and I think even for one box, I counted it to be an estimate over $250. Yeah. So, um, excellent value. Again, you are going to be blown away if you get one. And again, I'm not affiliated with her in any way. So she just happens to be the person that I kind of fell into the canyon of and, um, love all our designs, the trims, appliques, and it, it's just been a pleasure, you know, dealing with the shop because she's so fast, efficient, and the finds that she makes are amazing too. So she makes sure she gets us some good pricing. So that being said, glad that you guys joined me today for my unboxing. Look forward to the candy box unboxing. And then also I will still be doing that spring cleaning uh, haul that I got from the Crafty Me shop as well, where she actually did the entire bulk of the trim for low, low pricing. So not on a per yard basis, but the whole bulk of trim. Um, and that came in a huge box for me as well. So um, I'll go over that with you. So in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great day, evening or afternoon. And I look forward to seeing you again at my mixed media. See you guys. Bye.